Tonight, help is on the way for the hospitality industry, and some local business owners say they need it to stay afloat. Plus, capacity limits could be shifting in Michigan and Wisconsin. What you need to know before dining out. And later in the show, Team USA Curling has found a new home for its headquarters. Why the organization is making the move to Minnesota. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us. It's been a tough year for small businesses, especially ones in the hospitality industry. But hope is on the horizon for restaurants, bars, and other food and drink companies. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo explains how a new grant program works and why business owners should start preparing for it now. We're starting, unfortunately, to see a number of these businesses close their doors permanently. And it's just very sad to know that the pandemic is what caused that. After a year of shutdowns and losses, financial relief is on the way through the Restaurant Revitalization Program. The Federal Small Business Administration will award $28.6 billion in funding. They're simply taking a look at what that restaurant made in 2019 compared to what they made in 2020. And essentially, with uh, that difference is what the form of this grant will be. Grants range from $1,000 to $5 million and can be used for things like payroll, rent, and construction of outdoor seating. Restaurants were some of the first businesses closed during the pandemic, and they're going to be some of the last businesses to be reopened fully. So this is really critical, critical funding. For businesses like At Sarah's Table, Chester Creek Cafe in Duluth, that funding is much needed. Part of the reason why I want to get this, this grant is to pay off debt because we've got a lot of debt accumulated during this period. The restaurant took its biggest hit during the first six months of the pandemic. Now, anything helps. We're not in danger of closing, but this grant would really alleviate some stress. So that's that's why we're going to apply for it. Funding is given on a first come, first serve basis, so owners are encouraged to be prepared. The application itself is the easy part. It's just getting the materials ready and prepared in advance. Um, that's going to take the most amount of time. For businesses in the food and drink industry, any relief can go a long way. Grant recipients are not required to repay the funding as long as they use the money by 2023. The application portal is now open and applications can be submitted as early as 11 Central Time Monday morning. We have information about how to apply on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Well, Dave's here for a first look at the weather. Dave, today was a good teaser for what we're heading into tomorrow with the sunshine and pretty decent temperatures. Yeah, and it was only a teaser. Temperatures were decent today, yes, but tomorrow they get even better. Yeah. So let's quick recap and see how things topped out today. Superior, pretty good at 60 degrees, one of our warmest spots, all right. And 59 in International Falls is fairly close. 59 Hayward, not so bad either. Of course, speaking of Hayward and every town in Wisconsin, tomorrow's Wisconsin's fishing opener. Well, tonight, Minnesota especially gets a slight chance, a 40% chance for some rain showers. If it makes it across the border into Wisconsin and the UP folks there have a 30% chance for showers. But they should be gone by about dawn tomorrow morning or so when folks are getting in the boats and getting out. So... Here's a quick look at the forecast for the entire area. It's going to be a pretty mild one. Tonight, there's that rain chance with low temps in the mid-40s. That's not too bad, especially when you're getting out into the boat in Wisconsin. You don't want a chilly morning. 75, the high temp tomorrow is going to be pretty decent. Will it stay that way? I'll talk about how long the 70s will last and show the specific Wisconsin fishing forecast coming up in just a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Dave. Health officials are seeing signs of progress in the fight against the coronavirus, but they're also reminding Americans to remain vigilant and to get vaccinated. Chris Martinez has more. The CDC says over 100 million Americans are now considered fully vaccinated against COVID-19. If we can continue at this pace, case rates are coming down, vaccinations going up, then I think uh, July 1 would be a reasonable target. Vaccine hesitancy could stop that from happening. 
In more than a dozen states, officials no longer order every dose available, a sign that demand has declined. The vaccine is more readily available, and it's just not seen as maybe such an urgent issue as it was a couple months ago. The pandemic is far from over, however. On Friday, Washington and Oregon announced new restrictions in an effort to contain a surge driven by coronavirus variants. While fewer seniors are being hospitalized thanks to vaccinations, COVID-19 is now knocking more younger people off their feet. The U.S. will restrict travel from India starting Tuesday. That country is struggling with an unprecedented wave of COVID-19 infections and deaths. Most people who have been in India in the previous two weeks won't be allowed to enter. The rule won't apply to U.S. citizens or their immediate families. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. While the pandemic has caused setbacks, things seem to be looking up. At this time next week, restaurants in Wisconsin will be allowed to seat up to 75% capacity. Right now, it's only 50%. But the Wisconsin Restaurant Association said just because public health officials say restaurants can open at 75% doesn't mean all restaurants will be able to. Restaurant owners agree that until the six-foot rule goes away, no public health order will really make a difference for them. Every time there's there's a new uh, order, people just assume that, you know, we're able to accommodate that stuff. And, you know, we'll do the best that we can because we certainly want to see as many people as we can. But we're going to end up in that situation where we're going to have to probably turn some people away. Restaurants are also still having a tough time finding people to hire to accommodate more customers. Meanwhile, Michigan business owners are reacting tonight to a new plan to slowly re-engage and reopen the state's economy. Michigan's new Vax to Normal reopening plan is focused around vaccination rates, giving business owners a better idea of what the future will hold. It is nice to have like an actual formulated plan and having that communication um, compared to previously where it was just kind of up in the air a lot of the times, deciding whether or not are we going to get shut down again, um, when are we going to reopen. Right now, 50% of people over 16 in Michigan have received at least one dose. At the 55%, uh, the state lifts work-at-home requirements for companies. At 60%, curfews on bars and restaurants end. And at 65%, indoor capacity limits go away. The former Minneapolis police officers in the George Floyd case could soon face federal criminal civil rights charges. The penalty for a civil rights conviction could be even more severe than the one Derek Chauvin faces now. Esme Murphy has more from Minneapolis. As prosecutors and defense attorneys prepared for the six and a half week trial that unfolded in state court over George Floyd's death, a separate investigation continued to unfold at the federal level. During the state trial, Hennepin County Medical Examiner Dr. Andrew Baker said he had been questioned by federal prosecutors twice. And then you uh, testified a second time, correct? To the federal grand jury? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, and that was in February of 2021? Yes. Sources say in addition to the Floyd case, the federal grand jury is looking into whether Chauvin could face federal charges in a second case. The grand jury heard evidence of a September 2017 incident involving a 14-year-old boy in which Chauvin allegedly had his knee on the boy's back for 17 minutes. The penalty under the federal statute can be life in prison. And what it basically says when you boil down to it is this, that if someone's acting under color of law, a police officer, and they used excessive force and deprived someone of their civil rights, and it is your civil right to live, and they had the specific intent of violating the law, they could be found guilty. The state case usually plays out first, and if there are federal civil rights charges, they come later. In this case, federal civil rights charges are expected before the August 23rd trial date for the three other officers in state court in the Floyd case. In the state case, the three former officers have pled not guilty to aiding and abetting second-degree murder and aiding and abetting manslaughter. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. If the government brings charges, it means a separate federal trial for Chauvin and the other officers in the future. Meanwhile, Derek Chauvin's murder trial was the first Minnesota criminal trial to be broadcast live on television, but it won't be the last. Officials said the video feed in Chauvin's trial had no major problems and better helped the public to understand the case. 
A spokesperson for Hennepin County Court System said the judge's order to allow the live broadcast will still apply to the August trial of the other three former Minneapolis officers charged in Floyd's death. About 20 states keep a database of how many times officers use deadly or severe force with the public. Wisconsin's progress on reporting it has been slow. The state used federal funding to start that collection more than a year ago, but only a handful of agencies opted in. The current data shows 22 agencies reported 28 incidents, but the list is far from complete. Most notably, missing is Jacob Blake's shooting last August. Officials say that's because they're still working to get agencies in compliance with the new standard. In total, there are nine force-related and four arrest-related deaths in 2020, but an independent tracker finds 19 police deaths in Wisconsin in 2020. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, Wisconsin anglers are gearing up for tomorrow's fishing opener. How Hayward is preparing to host the governor's event next. Record high temp for today is 85 degrees from 1934. 80's not out of the question for Hayward, Wisconsin tomorrow. The rest of us should be firmly in the 70's, but only for a day. We'll talk about when those temperatures will slip away coming up right after our break. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. Let's go! Race in for a great deal now on the Honda CRV. The Honda Dream Garage Spring Event is here. Their price, $30,000. Your price, $20. Can you tell the difference? Even expert jewelers have a difficult time distinguishing the Diamond Z4 CZ from mine diamonds because of their similarity. This exquisite ring features a flawless simulated diamond center stone of two and three quarter carats surrounded by over one and a quarter carats of round and tapered flawless baguettes. One jewelry industry professional marveled at their beauty and brilliance. It's exceedingly rare to see such flawless stones. He's right. Comparable solitaires made of diamonds can cost up to $30,000. Your price through this special invitation will be only $20. And for a limited time, you can also receive this beautiful band with 1.92 carats of diamond Z4s. Get both CZ rings totaling over an astounding 6 carats for $20. So call or click now. Call 1-800-577-5801 to get your Diamond Z4. Call now or go to DiamondZ4.com. So call 1-800-577-5801. Call now. What inspires the owners of the Breeze Inn? It's their passion for good food, good drinks, and good people. The good times start at the Breeze Inn. Open Tuesday through Sunday, 12 to 9. The Breeze Inn, Gene Duluth Road, Duluth. Attention everyone on Medicare. Did you know that millions of Americans over 65 on Medicare may not be getting all the benefits they deserve right now in 2021? With all the news about the virus and vaccines, everyone eligible for Medicare is encouraged to call 800-758-2204 now for your free, no obligation Medicare benefits review. 2021 is here. You may be able to save money and receive additional benefits like home prescription delivery and expanded at-home telehealth visits. Call now to find out if you're eligible for a plan that includes benefits like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, free meal delivery, and free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or $0 copays. Plus, benefits including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. You don't get these savings and additional benefits automatically, so call now. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. Call 800-758-2204. 800-758-2204. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. All right. All eyes are upon Wisconsin, caving all around to the lakes and going after the walleye. How will things fare over there? Well, not too bad. Sunrise, maybe some showers still coming across from a little trough of low pressure tonight, but a morning start of 43 degrees. That's not bad at all. By noon, take a little break, maybe swap lakes, mostly sunny and 65. Then in the afternoon on the water, could be as warm as 73 degrees. And off the water in Wisconsin, 80 not out of the question. Minnesota, close behind in the 70s for Saturday with sunshine. But once we get into Sunday, it already changes back to cloudy and cooler and perhaps a little bit drizzly too. First though, current conditions, airport in Duluth is 51. 
Relative humidity is low at 33% and it will be low again tomorrow. And so despite the beauty of the sunshine and the warm temperatures close to 80, we have to be careful outdoors because weather service says we'll be near critical for the fire danger. Hopefully by Sunday when it cools down and we get a rain chance, we solve it again for a little while. But it seems like we go one day without rain and then that fire danger bubbles right back up again. Current air pressure on the high side at 1,016 millibars and our current regional temperatures have dipped a bit towards waters meet lower 30s but still upper 40s closer to the lake and Ironwood and a range of temperatures in Wisconsin currently going from 46 in La Pointe to 50 in Hayward to 51 for Superior and we have upper 40s and lower 50s for most of Minnesota but not all because up to Gunflint of course getting closer to Canada 39 degrees is the current temperature there but again tomorrow's going to be awfully warm then cooler for Sunday. Now tonight, there is a trough of lower pressure working through the area, and over the past couple of hours, it's brought some fairly light rain showers to northern Minnesota, some of them actually touching the ground too, but not much, a lot of verga happening. It's uh, not a huge trough of lower pressure, and by early tomorrow morning, it should be gone. Speaking of gone, the high pressure that had a hold of us today slipping away. The low comes through overnight tonight with a shower chance. Then a second high takes over for Saturday, brings back the sun, helps egg on those warm conditions. And then hard on the heels of that by Sunday already, we can see the next low pressure system nosing itself into our picture here. That brings back clouds, cooler conditions, and rain chances by Sunday. So it's a high-low, high-low going on here. It's off to work we go on Monday, huh? We'll show you what that day is going to bring with our seven-day forecast here in just a bit. But first, we take a look at how much rain could come tonight. Really not that much, a trace to about a tenth of an inch. Now, tonight, Minnesota temperatures, they're going to fall into the 40s, warmer than normal, 40% rain chance, 30% chance for Wisconsin, Michigan, with lows there in the mid-40s. For tomorrow, Wisconsin and Michigan, 73 to 80. Sunny, but with a fire threat. And in Minnesota, sunny with a fire threat as well. Highs near 70 by the lake, upper 70s inland. And it does not last. By Sunday, it's cloudy. 40% rain chance that we drop the high temp to 50. Then to add insult to springtime injury, perhaps, we only go to 49 on Monday, Kristen. But I think we'll perk up a hair, 50 to 55, then for the rest of the week. All right, thanks, Dave. Less than 24 hours stand between Wisconsin anglers and this year's spring fishing opener. Last year, Hayward was gearing up to host the 55th annual Governor's Fishing Opener, but it was canceled because of the pandemic. Now, organizers are happy to see people back in Hayward for the celebration one year later. J.B. Ellis has been going to Hayward for the opener for the last 15 years, and he told us he's excited to get out on the water. Seven degrees. And I think we're going to be experiencing probably maybe some pan fishing bite, but for those walleye fishermen, I think it's going to be really good. The official start to the season is tomorrow morning, and Wisconsin's governor is expected to cast a line in Hayward. Back in Minnesota, anglers will have to wait a little while longer. Fishing opener in the Gopher State is set for Saturday, May 15th. Duluth homeowners and renters can see how safe their water is for free. The city is offering 100 free lead tests to residents who are hooked up to city water through a lead service line. They're especially targeting those with homes in various neighborhoods built before 1930. While city leaders say the drinking water is safe, it could become contaminated if the water travels to taps connected to a lead line. With those results, we're also planning to do some education around ways to mitigate your risk for lead. So the number one thing we always tell people is if you have a lead service line or you have lead plumbing within your house, run your water for a few minutes before you use it for drinking or cooking. The city of Duluth and Equilibrium 3 are partnering on this project. 20 of the slots are already full. We have a link to sign up for a free test on our website. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, the United States curling team is changing their location. We'll have reaction to the move right after the break. CBS 3 Live Cams, brought to you by KohlerChev.com. Now featuring the Kohler Express deal online buying solution. KohlerChev.com, a better way to buy. Healthy Systems USA Spring Sale is going on now. Get a free bottle of Healthy Start Spray and lose 30 to 50 pounds in just two months with purchase of one month program. That's right, two month program for one month price. Call us today. Limited supply. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. Because of this, we built Ford Edge with intelligent all-wheel drive. Because of this, 
We built Ford EcoSport to give you traction when and where you need it. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Now, for a limited time, get up to 6,800 total savings on an edge. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. This is the most important, amazingest game ever played in the universe. The pitcher is fierce. Danny Roberts is up at bat. And the crowd goes wild. He just won the game. Let's go. Yes. We protect the car you drive. Go get him, Danny. And the dreams that drive you. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. At Super One Foods, we go to great measures to deliver you with top quality meat every day. Try our Smithfield Pork Loin Ribeye Chops for only $2.49 per pound. And get Black Angus Boneless Chuck Tender Roast for just $3.99 per pound. Plus, we provide the best of the best in fresh produce. Get red, yellow, or orange colored peppers for just $0.99 cents each. And California-grown navel oranges for just $0.99 cents per pound. Through all that we do, we've got you in mind. Super One Foods, serving you lower prices and better choices. Buying a home can be adventurous, but sometimes you can feel lost. A local realtor can help show you the way. We're here to guide you on the trail to your perfect home. We are Lake Superior Area Realtors. Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopel. Weekday mornings on CBS. If it's important to our nation... The country is facing yet another unprecedented crisis. It's on Face the Nation. Making politics make sense. The why behind the biggest stories. Face the Nation on CBS. Healthy Systems USA Spring Sale is going on now. Get a free bottle of Healthy Start Spray and lose 30 to 50 pounds in just two months with purchase of one-month program. That's right, two-month program for one-month price. Call us today. Limited supply. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. The United States Curling Association is moving its headquarters from Stevens Point to Edina, Minnesota, and some familiar Olympic gold medalists say they're thrilled with the decision. WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly has more. Minnesota has become synonymous with curling. Curling in Minnesota, it's funny, Wisconsin used to be like, oh, the curling capital of the country, and I think we've kind of tilted that scale in the way of Minnesota over the last decade. Olympic gold medalist and native Minnesotan John Schuster thinks that will only continue with the official USA curling headquarters moving to Egan. It made a ton of sense. If you want your athletes and your governing body and the people running your organization, if you can get them all in the same place, you just have a lot more you know, opportunity. USA Curling says by having everything in one location in a metropolitan area may draw even more curlers to Minnesota. Three-time national champion Jamie Sinclair and her team moved to Minnesota three weeks ago. Because everything is here. In order to, to give this Olympic trial season our, our best shot, we really had to co-locate. Um, so we're living together, we're training together every day, we're full-time athletes. The athletes train at TCO on the Vikings campus and will continue to curl at the national training site in Chaska, where competitive athletes and others throw rocks. Anybody can play. Um, it's great for all ages and it's a really great social sport as well. Mackenzie Johnson is newer to the sport and says news of the Minnesota headquarters is great for curling. Definitely brings attention to the sport even. Um, gets people all curious and wanting to explore. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Coming up in sports, the Vikings introduced their first round pick. Kelly has the details. Next. Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and discoverwisconsin.com. Plus, subscribe to the Cabin Podcast, available wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.
Extreme, we know when your internet works, your life works. Living with unreliable internet or slow speeds is a hassle you can't afford. So don't just settle for subpar service. Get Extreme Internet and transform your whole home. Prices start at $19.99 a month for one year. You deserve fast, reliable internet. With Extreme, you can get speeds from 60 meg up to an amazing one gig. Right now, prices start at less than 20 bucks a month for one year. Call us today, 844-EXTREME2. As medical professionals, we work hard to protect our families and neighbors. Access North has partnered with the Minnesota Department of Health to be a covert community coordinator. Thank you, Access North, for being an advocate and a resource for people with disabilities. Contact Access North Center for Independent Living, your local COVID community coordinator resource for people with disabilities. Mask up and keep each other safe, Minnesota. Mopping the dirt and germs from your floor is a messy chore. Well, now you can spin away those germs with Floor Police, the lightweight and cordless power spin mop that scrubs away messes the fast and easy way. Just add any disinfectant, and at a speedy 100 RPM, the microfiber pads do all the scrubbing and sanitizing, so you don't have to. The secret is the powerful electric motor and rechargeable lithium battery that has 90 minutes of runtime. The swivel head can easily clean in and around obstacles and get deep under furniture. Plus, the pads are machine washable and reusable. Get Floor Police with two microfiber pads for just two easy payments of $29.99. But wait, call now and get two free scouring and two free polishing pads. But hold everything because you can double the entire offer. Just pay separate fee and we'll even ship it to you free. That's two Floor Police mops with pads plus free shipping. Call or click now. Call 1-800-592-0163 or visit floorpolice.com. Order now. Kristen Bakke is as local as our evening news. I'm from here. This is my home. I learned how to do a left-handed layup right there. At that hoop, that exact hoop. Covering the communities she calls home to. You know, there's nothing phony about it. That's that's who she is. She's just a natural at it. So I, I enjoy watching her because she's so good at what she does. Leaders at Hibby and Tackanay are scrambling. At the Menorca Mining Family Heritage and Iron Mining History. For everything local, watch Kristen Bakke on live local CBS3. Now, CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. Well, let's kick things off with some Friday night baseball from the Twin Cities. A showdown of rivals from the AL Central. First place Kansas City bringing a glittering 15-8 and eight record to target field tonight to face the 8-15 and 15 Twins. Bottom of the third is where we'll start this one. Twins up 1-0 already looking for more. Alex Kirilov. Connecting for a three-run shot to the left field bleachers. My favorite spot at tar target field. The ball finds the seats. Kirloff has his first dinger of the season to make it 4-0. Moving on to the fourth. It's Carlos Santana strumming a solo shot deep to right field center. Into the second deck. Off of Minnesota starter Michael Pineda to make it a 4-1 ball game. No matter. Twins rolling tonight at last check. It was 8-1 in the ninth. And game two of the four games set between the Brewers and the L.A. Dodgers at Miller Park. Bottom of the second. One on. One out. Jackie Bradley Jr. catches this pitch on his hands but powers it to the right field seats for a two-run blast and that makes it a two-nothing Milwaukee game. Dodgers get one back at the top of the fifth as A.J. Polak hits a towering moonshot to the left field. Stands for the solo shot. Brewers still up 2-1 but Freddie Peralta was cruising on the mound tonight. Here he gets Josh Turner to strike out swinging to end the top of the sixth. Peralta working six innings giving up one run on one hit with seven strikeouts. Cruz to a win for the Brewers, 3-1 to one, the final. And the NFL draft continued tonight with the second and third rounds. For the Vikings, no picks to be made in the second round. So we move to the third. The Vikes go quarterback at number 66, selecting Kellen Mond from Texas A&M. At 78, they select Chaz Surratt, a linebacker out of North Carolina. Wyatt Davis is selected 86th. And at number 90, they take Patrick Jones, a defensive end out of Pittsburgh. Packers get two picks done so far in the second and third round. At number 62, they get Josh Myers, a center from Ohio State. And at 85, they take another Rodgers, Amari Rodgers, a wide receiver from Clemson. So something for Rodgers to throw, too. That's nice. Rodgers to Rodgers. 
Let's hope he stays. The Vikings added to their offensive line in the first round of the NFL draft, selecting Christian Derisaw. Derisaw was introduced today in Egan, Minnesota at the Vikings facility. The offensive tackle out of Virginia Tech started 10 games as the Hokies left tackle, earning himself a second team All-American honors from the Associated Press. Derisaw was nothing but excited to get the call from his new team. I wouldn't say I was very really nervous. Um, like, I knew coming into it, like, anything could happen. So I, I was really prepared for, like, the, the worst, essentially. And it's like, whatever happened, like, it was going to happen for a reason. So it's like, when, when I got that phone call from, from Minnesota, I just knew, like, uh, like, they made the right one. Like, they made the right decision. We were very, very fortunate to uh, get a player of Christian's uh, caliber. Um, you know, we, lo we love watching him double-team guys into the end zone. Hope he does that in Minnesota. The Milwaukee Bucks on the road. They, they made the trip to the Windy City to face Chicago this evening. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo out with an ankle injury. Bucks got off to a fast start. Chris Middleton cleared for the takeoff. He crosses up the defender and throws down the one-handed slam. Bucks would keep the big moves coming as Brooke Lopez takes two dribbles, hits the turnaround jumper. He had 14 first half points. Milwaukee ends up with the win, 108 to 98, the final. It was a big night to be Nick Sweeney. Sweeney was not long ago the leading scorer for the UMD men's hockey team, helping the team to its fourth consecutive Frozen Four this year. And tonight, he made his pro debut. Making his professional first professional start with the Iowa Wild out of the AHL. He'll wear number 10 for the team this season. Sweeney left for Iowa last week and was cleared to play for the team's game against Chicago. The Wild fell 4-1. to one. They'll face Chicago again tomorrow. And that's going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. Healthy Systems USA Spring Sale is going on now. Get a free bottle of Healthy Start Spray and lose 30 to 50 pounds in just two months with purchase of one-month program. That's right, two-month program for one-month price. Call us today. Limited supply. Everything in our garage is inspired by our racing spirit. Race in for a great deal on the Honda CRV. Only at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. The new DQ Summer Blizzard menu will take you right into summer. With out of this world brownie batter, iconic drumstick with peanuts, plus favorites like cotton candy, raspberry fudge bliss, and an all-new lineup for all the summer you crave. The new DQ Summer Blizzard Menu. Summer's best moments are just one bite away. DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. After 40 years of operations, Skip's Home Center is closing our doors at the end of May 2021. We have more than a thousand kitchen, bathroom cabinets, and cabinet doors for immediate sale in addition to close-out doors, windows, hardware, faucets, sinks, marble tops, and so much more. We are currently operating on reduced hours, so call in advance while our inventory is still available. Skip's Home Center, 4728 Rice Lake Road, Duluth. Because of this, we built the most powerful Ford Explorer ever. Because of this, we built Ford Expedition with best-in-class towing. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Now, for a limited time, get up to 3,300 total savings on a 2021 Explorer. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Healthy Systems USA Spring Sale is going on now. Get a free bottle of Healthy Start Spray and lose 30 to 50 pounds in just two months with purchase of one month program. That's right, two month program for one month price. Call us today. Limited supply. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Our buy one, get one for a buck suit and sport coat sale is now in progress. Hundreds of options. Mainstream, downtown Duluth. Dave, I am just giddy about tomorrow. And that sunshine we're going to see. Yeah, a lot of folks are. Kelly's giddy as well. <laughs> She's sunshine. ready to smash it tomorrow. 
as sunshine comes out after a few rain showers tonight. And we send our temperatures up to 75 even here in the Twin Ports. 80 is possible down around Hayward. But you may think it's a dream when you wake up Sunday morning and it's cloudy again. And it drops to about 50 degrees. So the warmth will not last. 40% rain shower chance comes back on Sunday. Then we get even cooler on Monday. And by Wednesday, with a low temp of 32 in the morning, you know there may be a couple of flurries mixed in with those showers. So make sure you get out and enjoy tomorrow. Thanks for joining us and have a great weekend.